Let's be honest, VS Code is slow, particularly with larger code bases. Although there are many amazing extensions, they can also slow down VS Code immensely. There are some alternatives to VS Code and one alternative is particularly interesting, but can it break the monopoly of VS Code? That's why this video explains why Z exists, its current state, future plans, and why it could be a great alternative to VS Code. Honestly, it always feels like everyone at work assumes that everyone uses VS Code. And it's always the first thought when you mention or discuss editors, right? Clearly, there are some specific reasons for this. However, I don't use VS Code anymore. I'm a big fan of NeoVim and its overall culture, but I have decided to switch to Z. So Z is a new open source editor that's faster than Sublime Text and VS Code. It has a lot of good plans and ideas on its roadmap and I'm going to talk about them a little bit. But first, let's discuss the old and clunky editors out there. As many of you know, VS Code is one of the most popular editors currently out there. It is modern, customizable, elegant and powerful. It is built with JavaScript or in this case TypeScript and Electron. It is also approachable for most developers and has a huge collection of extensions which modify the behavior or change the theme of the editor. Sounds great, right? Well, the problem with Electron and JavaScript and therefore VS Code is that it can be slow. That's why new, faster and more memory-friendly alternatives exist. I've also made a video, by the way, about why Electron is actually bad and what a good alternative could be. And one of the competing options to VS Code that has gained popularity recently is Z. Now, the funny thing about Z is that it is built by the creators of Atom, Electron and Treesitter. Pretty ironic, isn't it? So it is clear that we have real experts building a powerful and performant editor here. On their website, Z promises incredible speed and directly compares itself to the most popular editors out there. And I honestly have to say, even when you start Z, it just feels fresh and fast. Also, I believe when comparing these two while opening larger code bases and searching for items, for instance, you truly experience the power of Rust and Z. Speaking of things that make Z unique, firstly, it's built in Rust, like I've said before, and in the end, we all laugh on this channel, well, hopefully, the language Rust. It is also built with GPUI, which leverages the power of the GPU, which results in great speed and reliability, and also leverages multiple cores with multi-threading. The GPUI framework rasterizes the entire window on the GPU, and it's pretty similar how 3D games are built, so it gives the Z team a good base to build upon. Secondly, Z promotes seamless collaboration, because in the end, programming a software or working on a product is most likely a team effort. That's why the Z team also focuses heavily on the collaboration phase of coding. I think this might be especially interesting for companies looking for some good built-in collaboration possibilities. But personally, I'm not a big fan of it because I don't use it that much and everyone has a different preference when it comes to their favorite editor. Of all, I think it's beneficial to have collaboration built-in, eliminating the need for any third-party extensions as in VS Code, for instance. Thirdly, it has integrated artificial intelligence with built-in support for GitHub GoPilot. GoPilot. <laughs> Thirdly, it has integrated artificial intelligence with built-in support for GitHub Copilot, which should not be nothing new if you use Copilot in your favorite editor, as well as an integrated assistant with ChatGPT. Now I'll talk a bit more about this specific feature in a minute here. Lastly, my personal favorite. Z offers built-in Vim support with all the lovely things you are used to in NeoVim, for instance. Obviously, Z also supports all the more obvious features you're used to in editors like VS Code. For instance, it provides language awareness through support for the language server protocol, code highlighting, auto-completion, and code navigation. Unfortunately, Z still does have some drawbacks. It lacks some features like debugging and is currently only available on Mac devices, but support for Windows and Linux is coming soon. 
Also, I think adapting to a new technology or editor is really hard because in the end we are all humans, but I believe Zed has some good plans here. In terms of future plans for Zed, there are three individual sections. Adoption, AI and collaboration. AI is the most interesting one, because they plan to have a out-of-the-box support for AI without using any open AI key. I can really imagine having a locally running LLM here to support you while you program. Their end goal with the AI part is to have a super intelligent pair programmer. And perhaps the collaboration aspect sets some basis for real collaboration with AI. You can find more details on their roadmap. That's it for now for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you think about that and whether you would consider switching from, for instance, VS Code. By the way, if you want to know more about Tauri and Rust and how it effectively replaces Electron, feel free to check out this video here. Thank you so much for watching, have a lovely day and bye bye.